Bucko's Bounty. Yo, Bucko, it's Zero, come back to you with another figure of you, or in this case, two. We got the G.I. Joe Classified Destro and Profit Director Destro. That's right, we got the right hand man without a plan, the one who's always messing up things, the one who. <laughs> Cobra Commander. I, I, I feel like Cobra Commander, if he didn't have. He must not have any other options because Destro always fails him, always pisses him off and stuff, so. Yeah, but you got your right hand man without a plan here. Um, you got Pimp Daddy Destro here. So, yeah, Sugar Daddy Destro. Um, I decided I'm doing a double review today because both these figures have been out for a while, so why not? Pick them up literally the same time. They arrived at the same time. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a look at these boxes real quick. So, yeah, starting with the regular Destro. Bam. I really like how his hood on the portrait is done like the Cobra logo. That's freaking awesome. But yeah, um, classified Destro uh, in the box. You can see the snake, the Cobra in the background. That's pretty dope. Side of the box, his like um, face. I actually really like how the design the face goes both sides of the box. That's pretty cool. Um, that is definitely one of the more unique portraits in the classified line so far. Back of the box, pretty awesome right there. Bam. And then the side of the box, you got his stats again. You can check those on gijoe.com. He is number three. Top of the box, you got your Cobra logo, number three again. Bottom of the box, unreadables. We're going to go ahead and get into, bam, you got the Profit Director Destro's box here. And it's looking pretty sick. This portrait is a little silly looking, but yeah, this is supposed to be, um, I believe a kind of classified version of there was like a San Diego Comic Con exclusive version of him where he was in this outfit for like three and three quarters. So I think this is just being like re released for that, but in the classified. But so that's kind of awesome. Um, very interesting though, too. Um, the box is awesome though. You got like the freaking golden classified and then the golden. Uh, number and Cobra logo up there. That's freaking awesome. On the side of the box, you got his portrait again. This pimp daddy glasses. Back of the box, you got your awesome freaking poster as always. Side of the box, I think he has the same exact stats as the regular Destro. Yep. Because I mean, like the the website just pulls up uh, only this Destro, I think. Anyway, so pretty dope. Uh, then he is number 15 same thing already show off the top of the box you got your golden logo then the number 15 in gold bottom of the box unreadables all right we're gonna go ahead and get these bad boys out of the packaging then real quick i didn't even notice this but uh inside the packaging you got your golden cobra logo it's not gold but it's like paint it's like printed to look like gold but yeah this box is super unique compared to the other boxes so that's dope okay and here they are out of the packaging and um, these guys are pretty sick uh, just the accessories alone I would say makes these guys worth it because they're freaking dope but we're gonna go ahead and dive into the accessories real quick so we're gonna start with the regular Destro first accessory he comes with this is kind of like blaster rifle I really like that it's for pretty dope it does remind me of a Star Wars it's pretty dope uh, I'm not sure if it actually is a nerf gun or not because a lot of these are based on nerf guns but um, Maybe it's like Nerf laser tag or something. I don't know. It's something, but it does remind me of this. Like it looks very similar. Um, that was the first thing I saw thought of when I saw it in the package. It's like, did they just reuse this? But it's not reused at all. It's just a very similar design. But yeah, that's kind of dope. Um, I really like the red paint apps on this. So that's a cool kind of like laser weapon. And for his other accessory, this kind of like, I can't remember what this is called. I think it's called like, I want to say it's the Magnum, but yeah, this comes with in a really nice golden color. And I really like how it's done. Um, compared to the Profit Director Destros, though, that one's in a kind of different gold, so I'll show that off in a second. But yeah, this mold is really nice. Uh, I really like the gold, and it's super shiny. Yeah, it's 
very nice. It does look like the nerf gun a bit. And then yeah, that goes ahead and you could either hold it in his hand or you could slot it into his holster right here. Which I don't know. Hold on, let me try something. I don't think this goes in here. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, I don't think it's meant for that, but you can definitely do that, so that's interesting. Yeah, definitely is meant for this pistol. So, there you go, boom. Very nice golden color, uh, it stands out a lot. And then I guess, like, his necklace right here could be an accessory, because it could come off. But yeah, there's that, and then, um, the accessory I was most interested in taking a look in is this case right here very nice uh, painted on the front side so you know which side to open the only problem is on the back it doesn't have that I don't know why I mean I guess you're never gonna like if you're gonna have it laying down you're never gonna see the bottom side but yeah and then it's very nicely it's just a black case you know with that and then silver on top so that's kind of cool but this pops open then you got your keyboard, another Cobra logo right there. And then you got C4 or money, I'm not really sure, but yeah, that's pretty dope. Um, I'd like to say the C4, but it also does look like money due to profit director Destro having it, but we'll show that off in a second comparing those two. Then moving on to profit director Destro, um, first he comes with a ton of accessories, so First thing is kind of like money that's burning. It's pretty dope. Uh, I actually didn't even notice the print, and that's freaking awesome. It's like a hundred dollar bill that's on fire. That's pretty dope. But yeah, got he's got that sugar daddy, uh, pimp daddy money. So that's pretty dope. Then his cape uh, comes off, is removable. Um, it has this very nice like leopard print on it. You can see the feet, tail, and then the more feet that's it's a uh, pretty plain but yeah this leopard pattern is actually really nicely done um, it's not my favorite looking thing in the world but it does match his kind of like pimp daddy outfit so that's kind of cool but yes yeah, just a plain red and then uh, the gold again that you can go ahead and push down bam uh, push it down over his collar and then it should stick in place and it doesn't come off very easily so there you go then he's got his his shades these are pretty dope um, they're in the transparent like purple plastic and the silver on the sides so that's kind of cool um, I don't know why it's showing up all purple on my screen but it's definitely silver on the side and then the kind of purple shades on the front and that goes ahead and fits on him pretty nicely um, you could either have it up like that or down over his eyes and that's not really gonna fall off anytime soon so that's cool uh, so those aren't gonna be the easy to lose so that's kind of cool that they stick on that well I'm actually impressed by that he has his necklace again and this necklace is done in a slightly different gold than his necklace so you can kind of see one's more like gold gold and one's more like a now this one's shinier gold this one's like a more matte gold which is weird you'd think this would be the shinier gold but maybe they had to skimp out on the paint costs or something I don't freaking know speaking of the golden paint um, he has his blaster pistol or his uh, magnum that they both have so this is the regular Destros and this is the profit director Destros and you can definitely tell same thing with the necklace, uh, the gold is a different color. Not the most noticeable thing ever when they're not side to side, but you can definitely tell. Again, I don't know why they didn't just use the same gold paint, but whatever, not a huge deal. Same mold and everything. Well, moving on to his last accessory, it's the um, case. So yeah, you could definitely tell uh, this is done, it's the same mold done in all gold, but it doesn't have the Cobra painted on the front. But when you open it up, yeah, it's inside gold again. Uh, it's the same key, like I said, same mold, uh, same C4 packs or money in this case, um, whatever you want. Cause yeah, that kind of looks like money. 
I mean, you could also store that in there if you want, so to sell the fact that it is money. But yeah, um, pretty much the same exact thing. Uh, the teal is slightly different on this one, so yeah. Um, these are pretty dope though. Uh, even if you don't use it with Destro, it'd be cool to have like a trooper carrying around or something. All right, let's go to take a closer look at each one of these guys. So if starters on regular Destro, um, so yeah, this is going to be our base. So pretty much they're the same exact mold um, for the most part. But yeah, so regular Destro, uh, he has the kind of cool like silver or his metal head um, kind of like where it's screwed on there. That's pretty dope. Um, yeah, he's got his black eyes, which those are freaking dope too. Looks very nice. Um, there actually is two versions of this, which I only have the first version somehow even though yeah so somehow I managed to get the original version uh the second version has like a circle on his head which is not the biggest deal ever but yeah um which also I don't know why the circle isn't on profit director but yeah whatever yeah he has a nice uh kind of like grid like armor pattern it's pretty dope um his black suit is pretty plain throughout there's there are textures, but it's pretty plain suit, so whatever. But wrist rockets on this guy are pretty dope. Uh, I really like how they did that, actually. The wrist rockets. Or the missiles, whatever they are. They're pretty dope. And his gloves. His gloves are pretty dope, too. Look at that. Kind of reminds me of Moff Gideon's gloves. Those are pretty dope. And his uh, chest kind of got the zipper going down the belt. The belt goes ahead and connects to his holster, and um, that does get some articulation, so maybe it won't hinder the movement too much, but yeah, usually these things kind of hinder the movement. Oh yeah, uh, besides back, it looks like it'll be fine on movement. That's not too bad. Um, back at him, you still have the armor kind of look. Uh, got his jacket. I, I didn't even realize this look this is like a jacket thing and not a, just a big ass collar that's actually really dope actually um, then his boots pretty nice um, yeah got more texturing there uh, pretty dope but well, we're gonna go ahead and just plop over profit director real quick and we're gonna have to take this off again show the details more so yeah so pretty much wherever he has the silver here he doesn't so it's just the suit without all those kind of like gray details but he does have gray here and then he has the kind of leopard print on his pants and then yeah the leopard print goes on to his back so yeah there actually is stuff on his back so yeah for here you're trading off like you got more detail in the upper torso for the old for the original one then more t detail in the pants for this one because I mean you're gonna have the cape on so you're really not gonna need you're really not even gonna see that part but and his wrist rockets on here are gold and I also noticed that this is more of like a maroon color while well, this is like a red so that's kind of dope it kind of just to make this stand out a little less so that's kind of cool the belt doesn't have the red colors but yeah um, also I noticed the pendant is like silver or it's like a white color around the pendant and then this is a uh, all gold interesting I wonder if you'd want to do some mix and match for that to make it look more pimped but whatever um, and then the head is the same exact thing it's just in the gold Bam. but you have the leopard print inside the collar too so that's kind of cool uh, yeah so they both have the same, like, almost the same amount of details. Uh, there's kind of like the red here, that's interesting. Yeah, they both have the same amount of details, just in like different places, but definitely say the Profit Director one has, like, looks, I don't know, because I like the look of the regular Destro, but this, if, you, if you're wondering which one to buy, more bang for your buck, you probably want the Pimp Daddy Destro right here. <laughs> Get more accessories and, uh, I don't know, he does look a little weird though. I mean, that's the whole thing. It's 
not for everyone but yeah um if you're new, wondering which one is more detailed it's definitely this one but you probably want the original one too <laughs> Yeah, and then the boots are done in the black, and then they have the gold instead of the silver on the tips, so that's kind of cool. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and move on to the articulation of these guys. So yeah, they both have the same articulation, but um, yeah, so they have a hinge, or is it a hinge? Yeah, it's a hinge at the head, goes up to a ball joint, so bam, up and down side to side so yeah he's okay for his movement and you have a butterfly joint I really like that almost every one of these Joes so far has a butterfly joint so that's freaking awesome and he has a hinge swivel at the shoulder pretty dope you got bicep swivels so really nice too they're getting all like most of the key points of articulation in and then you have double jointed elbows which yeah this one uh, only goes up that much because he has very thick freaking biceps but so you're really not gonna get too far up there does not have gauntlet swivels um, this both these wow interest both these wrists go up and down wow that's really interesting what about profit director yep same thing both the wrists go up and down that's that's actually interesting and then going back to the shoulders here when you have this on it's going to be hindered a little bit it's going to push that up so um but yeah so you're not without pushing it up you're not going to get a ton of movement out of there probably there back that's about it and he has a ab crunch which this actually works right it's it is a tiny bit wobbly but it's not as bad as like storm shadow or something from what i've seen it also has a swivel torso uh, or is that a ball joint no that's definitely a swivel I'm not gonna fuck around with that <laughs> um, and the kind of has like the moving god what is that called <sighs> right and then his leg goes up that far back that far not really back but like sideways then he goes out this far a little hindered by that this side uh, it's about the same thing he also has the kind of leg crunch to help yeah I'm not gonna mess around with that too much but that does help articulation quite a bit it's actually cool how that works I think this is the first time I can actually see that all the way on any of these figures and he has a thigh swivel which on this side oh you can do the thigh swivel on this side that's pretty dope and he has the double jointed knee kicks his own ass he has boot swivels again awesome boot swivels then he has a hinge at the ankle and a four facing pin for rock okay and let's go ahead and pose these metal heads <laughs> next to the Black Series Stormtrooper and Lord Vader. And here they are next to Boba and Mando. Alright. And as always, here they are next to... And as always, here they are next to Luke Skywalker Squawker. Uh, these guys are pretty dope. Um, 
definitely go ahead and pick up the regular Destro, but uh, honestly, I don't know if you need to pick up the Profit Director Destro. He's pretty pimp though, so yeah, it's up to you. I honestly, the reason I picked him up is I was really interested in the accessories and I wanted to see how he really looked compared to regular Destro, so why the hell not? Picked him up, so that's pretty dope. Um, definitely like the regular Destro but a lot better though. Anyways, as always, you can bring them in warm or you can bring them in cold. Thanks for watching and good hunting.